Alright, so I cleared the area. And when you clear the area, you might find more areas that need patching. Um, if there's any extra, put some over there. But I want to focus on this area that really needs it. Next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, remove all the pieces and show you what it looks like with the, uh, the crater. All right, so I went, I, I went ahead and I removed the loose pieces and discarded them. <clears throat> I kept a couple along the edge because they're pretty well anchored and it'll help holding the uh, tar in position. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rake some of that out. All right, I cleaned out the bottom and I leveled it. it doesn't have to be perfectly level. And I went about an inch an inch and a quarter deep. Ideally, well, depends if it's going to be high traffic, if the heavy vehicle is going to be going on it all the time. This is basically a patch to keep the rest from cracking, so I'm going to go in about half, one and a half inches, and now I'll start putting in the tar. All right, so what I'm going to be using is QPR, Quality Pavement Refill, or Repair. And I got this one at Lowe's. Any hardware store or home improvement center would have it. This is just under $12 a bag. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's poured into the hole. All right, so I emptied out three bags. What I like to do is use a knife, utility knife, to cut it and then pour it in. Um, it may look like a lot, but trust me, it's better to overdo it than underdo it. Because it's going to go into all the nooks and crannies. And then you've got to pound it down. And I'll show you the tool. Okay, so here's the stamping tool. I'm going to use it to tamper it down. Oh, I don't know, is that the right word? Tamper? It's not like you're making espresso, but you're going to level it out and pound it down. And I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done pounding it. You want to make it as level as possible with the area around it. All right, to give you an update, I decided to go a little more. I have a few extra bags, and I figured I'd try to get as close to the line as possible. This one I want a little bit deeper because it's going to anchor this. So when this part is finished, right. so I filled it in, leveled it out, and stamped it down. And if you see I put an edge over here and I'm going to take the rest of the stuff that I dug up the rocks and the soil and I'm going to pack it over there to keep this in place and give it support at least until it cures. I used um, seven bags, and this is about one, two, three, I'll say five feet by two and a half or three, so maybe 15, six, let's go 20 square feet just to be safe, always over to estimate, overestimate and underestimate, but this is seven bags, and I'll show you what it looks like when uh, the soil okay. is put in place. So I filled it in, stomped it down. Do yourself a favor. If you're going to do it that way, pound it. And then put more on it and keep pounding it till it's level. Because the rain is just going to wash it out. So that's in place. All the filler is in place and pound it out. And I'm going to show you a little secret on how to keep uh, everything from sticking. Okay, so it says you can, you can drive on it right away, but that was for a small area. And if you want to keep those little pebble pieces from sticking to your tire, put a little bit of dirt, like from where you dug or clean, or it could be sand, and put it over the top, and then pack it in. 
Remember, don't step on rocks because then it'll be stuck in the pavement. Just the dirt. And once it rains, it'll wash it all away. But it'll protect it and it'll start to cure. So that, my friends, is how to put a patch in. It's a lot cheaper than having all the area broken up and repaved. Thanks for watching.